It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the Seahawks' rocket arm quarterback. He had a solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Seahawks and the Cardinals, and it's coming up next. With Mount Rainier in the distance, there are a few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Today, we've got a Week 6 matchup for you here between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they come in off their very first loss of the year, suffered a week ago. Yeah, it will not be a perfect season, but I'm interested to see how they bounce back now that they know that chasing the 1972 Dolphins is out the window. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league, now in his fifth year at quarterback. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him to win. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The numbers for him from a week ago. A boatload of carries, 117 yards, and a touchdown. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week. And that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Isaiah Simmons credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Looking to throw, Brown. It's caught, lock it. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A well-executed 22-yard game. They all came together there in breaking route. Drew it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about a tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Oh, that's a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 36. Off 
Play action. Brown. Targeting the out route, and he completes this to Metcalf. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Give him 30 yards there. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Up the middle they go. Carson, they'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Back to throw. Brown, buying time to his left. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Looking to throw. Brown. This is caught. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Okay, ready. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now Brown looking to throw on second down. He's got his big tight end, Fan. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 23 yards to pick up there. But as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense play their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here we go, here we go. Back to throw. Brown. Looking left side, he's got it. Complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, he obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield. Broke down the defender. Made him really, by that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. And then he curls back inside for the completion. On first down, it's Carson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five and the six. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. They made a nice effort to stick it with the last, but they're going to take more than 
that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. in primetime last weekend, week five, and we've got another pair of good ones coming up here in week six. Starting tonight, Cowboys and Eagles from Philly on Sunday night, and then tomorrow, Monday night football has the Broncos and Chargers from SoFi. That's going to be a lot of fun, no doubt. Kickoff 515 local time for that one out in Southern California. the delay here's Carson and a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line facing a second and six from the eight back to throw Brown and he's got it caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown T.Y. Hilton his first touchdown on the year and the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. his 15th touchdown pass of the year on that last drive and they'll look to keep it going here first and 10. tight end fan and they work this well up field across the 45 23 yards on the play first down by Noah Fant he'll remind the Rochelle and play he's one of the most athletic tight ends we saw coming out of college in recent years every round and every catch can be turned into a bigger play with what he can do as an athlete in the open field a nice big play from him there for the first down a big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The 20! And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 
Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Carson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Looking to throw. Brown. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Nikel Roby Coleman, a sack off the corner. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down but hey not only did they get the first down forget about that they got in the end zone yeah, because normally you're just thinking can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up the first down instead they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error remember fourth down they went for it Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had three touchdown passes in the game last week. He's already got three here in the first half alone as his guys start first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Brown. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Brown on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Operating from the gun, Brown. And he comes back with one complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. 
And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They had the big halftime lead. Their defense just helped them out further by forcing the turnover, so things are starting to look pretty rosy. They certainly are, but they've got to be careful about getting complacent, though. They still need to go out and run their offense efficiently. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually... He rifles one that's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Cards are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball... Their lead is diminished a little bit here after he threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So we'll see if this offense can right the ship first and ten. Let's go now. Alert. Alert. Bring it. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a bit of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, he will. He's got a first down to boot. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They'll run on first down. Carson, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. territory now it's first and ten at the 39 yard line back to throw Brown fighting to stay upright and that's a loss of seven on the first down play Second down, it's Carson, and despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Looking to throw, Brown. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So 
So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Second and ten. Back to throw. Brown. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Come the Seahawks now set to take over on offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them lose those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson, that's going to go as a loss of four and it'll be second down. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Cardinals are going to take possession of the football. So my goodness, I wouldn't have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back. Yeah, the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, Life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. That one looks like he'll throw here. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. the middle they go. It's Carson and a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Let's go. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Looking to throw, Brown. And he can't get a throw off, he's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Kingsley Kiki in there to get him for a loss of three and it will be fourth down. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two minute drill. will drop them to four and two on the year and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. 